uh, Fox defense of the rich. Now, uh, recently the House passed a uh, piece of legislation uh, that was authored by uh, Alan Grayson. He's a Democratic congressman from Florida. He's a first-term guy, and he's taking some serious action, and, and I like it. And uh, what they said is, if you are receiving TARP money, and this is really important, only if you are receiving TARP money, meaning taxpayer money, we're going to have restrictions on bonuses and pay, and that your bonus and pay have to be a reasonable amount. Now, the Treasury sets reasonable amounts for many people uh, that work for the government, and now that the government is basically uh, the biggest investor in these companies, uh, they get to set some reasonable compensation limits as well. This happens in private industry all the time as well. Now, apparently, it's a foreign concept to Fox News, and they are just livid over what's happened to their rich buddies. Now, the first clip we're going to show you is Neil Cabuto talking to Congressman Grayson. Now, it's a, a, there's two issues with this. One, it's a little long, but man, we're going to show you the whole thing because Cabuto is unbelievably rude. Now, I don't mind, you know, being tough on a guest. We ask the reporters and the anchors to be tough on guests all the time, right? But, I mean, they're absolute ad hominem attacks and the insults that come out of left field. And then my second problem with this video is I just wish that Grayson had defended himself better because he just won't say the thing. Hey, look, they're getting taxpayer money. We are their largest investors. Investors get to set the rules. Uh, instead, this happened. And it's, all right, well, take a look at it. You'll see. These AIG bonuses is over. The House Financial Services Committee, led by Barney Frank, is at it again, quietly passing a measure that is expected to be brought to the House floor as early as tomorrow. It's called the Pay for Performance Act of 2009. Now, under the proposal, the government would impose pay restrictions on all employees, not just top execs at companies that receive any aid from the government. Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson is the chief sponsor of the bill, joins me right now. Um, that, that's getting pretty big brotherish there, Congressman. Well, why do you say that, Neil? Uh, it, the bill restricts unreasonable and excessive compensation. But who's exactly deciding that? Who's deciding that, Congressman? The Secretary of the Treasury issues rules. All right, but, but is, is a personal assistant or a secretary at the company bound by these same rules and, and these same pay levels set by some arbitrary bureaucrat? The people who are bound by it are the people who have been ripping off the American taxpayer by stealing money from us and stuffing it into their own pockets. But the assistant the or the secretary, I would, I would probably not include in that group, would you? Why, why would you think that's even an issue under this bill? This bill only talks about unreasonable compensation. Well, you know who's, defining unreasonable? who's defining unreasonable? Seriously, Neil, are any secretaries getting million-dollar bonuses? If so, so please then let state me know. it. Then state it. What is unreasonable to you? Tell me now. What is All right, unreasonable? Can we pause it for a second? If you get a ten million-dollar bonus for destroying your company and putting the whole U.S. economy at risk, that's unreasonable. Okay, that. All right. So let's pause it for a second. Really, Neil Cavuto, you're really concerned about the secretaries and uh, and the assistants. Why would they get unreasonable compensation? Why would they get a million dollars? And if they did, then it's unreasonable. <laughs> and you like Madoff's secretary, she made out like a bandit. She's got a couple of houses down in Florida. We showed a video of her, right? The, why she was complicit. She was. She knew what Madoff was doing, and she was part of the scam, right? Now, do you want to stop that on co compensation? Of course, it's unreasonable. And he says, oh, this arbitrary bureaucrat setting these things. But listen, if you're a private investor and you are putting all sorts of money into a company that is, in essence, insolvent without your help, you get to set the rules. And you get to say, yeah, I will be the arbitrary bureaucrat who tells you what your freaking salary is. That's how it works. So I'm a little frustrated that Grayson can't point that out to him, although he did a reasonable job in that a little exchange there. But understand that Kabuto is full of it, man. He doesn't give a damn about the secretary. He cares about the CEOs. Those are the ones getting the enormous packages. That's what he's worried about. God, they love to protect the CEO asses. Now, let's continue. On that, if you are getting that money and you bought the company under, I'd, I'd sign on to this thing with you, Congressman. That's what this bill does. Well, well, did you mention the $10 million thing in this bill? What do you mean? By, by number? Yeah. No, because that would say that nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety dollars. Did you okay. give me a range? And we are not saying that. is there okay. a range in this? No, the Secretary of Treasury is going to establish the ranges. But do you see where this is going, Congress? I know your intentions are good, 
But what you're doing here is putting Congress in the role of determining what is okay and what is not okay. What compensation you know, is excessive and what compensation isn't. Who's to say that this ten wrong, million Neil. figure? Well, you didn't even give me a range. Neil, that's just wrong. We can punish bad people without punishing good people. That's what the law does every single day. You're not even telling me what does. this law includes, Congressman. No, I, I think I did. No, you didn't. You didn't give me a level and a number. That's all I'm asking. I, I can't stand his well, tone of Well, that's for the voice, Secretary man. of the Treasury to do. We well, have you're separation giving of him powers, Neil. We I have know, a I know, but you're, Congressman, you're giving him carte blanche powers, and you're not even defining what those ranges for those powers are. I think no, uh, you're uh, right, wrong, we have a right wrong. to know what we're writing. Uh, hey, hey, listen, you whiny-ass bitch, okay? What, what's he going to do? Okay, the new compensation for everybody at AIG is $2. <laughs> You think the Treasury Secretary is going to do that? Why would he do that? It doesn't make any sense. And if he sets the compensation too low, no matter what the number is, it, whether it's two dollars or fifty thousand or a hundred thousand, then everybody's going to leave the company. Uh, if there really are better offers, right? And why would the Treasury Secretary want to do that? He's not going to want to do that. What the reason they didn't put a specific number in the bill is because they figure the guy who's on top of this, the one doing the the, the major regulation, is the Treasury Secretary, the executive branch. And that they would have more expertise in setting that number than a bunch of congressmen. So instead, we have Kabuna going, but Mr. Congressman, you didn't tell me anything that's in the bill. Yeah, we did. You just don't like what's in the bill. All right, let's keep it going. Rules, the executive branch executes on them. That's how the Constitution works. But Thank in the you. general rules, you're leaving it up to the Treasury to decide what are adequate compensation levels for everyone at that federally rescued company. Yes. So a lot of rules even... are like that, Neil. But... We, in the Constitution, we have due process and equal protection. That's all the Constitution says. Then what's due process to stop and equal then, protection. Then what's to it's stop up to the executive no, branch. So You've got to hear what you're saying because you're, 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 you're Sweden in a suit now. What, what is to stop a mid-level executive from thinking? You and the Treasury are gunning for him, even though he had nothing to do with the demise of the company in question. What would make him think that other than paranoid delusions? Is it a paranoid delusion to think that you're telling me you're going to police salary and leave it in the Treasury's hands, and you don't even know what an adequate salary range is, but you're telling me, Neil, don't be paranoid and delusional because the Treasury is going to set those standards, but you can't even tell me what the standards are. Who's delusional, Congressman? I'm telling you that laws are like that all the time. The Congress well, has general guidelines then, and the executive. They are executive. stupid laws. You are it's putting... the Constitution, Neil. Yeah, the Constitution never gave you the damn authority of telling anyone what they should make. You are Don't not use the profanity on the air, please. Never gave you the authority to blithely come in here and arrogantly set pay for people you don't even know. And you don't have the guts to come back at me and tell me what you think adequate pay ranges are. And you cavalierly tell me, that's for the Treasury to decide, idiot. And the Treasury is going to set guidelines behind closed curtains. And then we're going to sign on to it because you say, trust the Treasury, trust me. Are you nuts? All right, Listen, pause. Neil, we have a real problem here. The real problem. Okay. Arrogantly, cavalierly, are you nuts? I mean, how many insults did he throw at him there? I mean, he said, damn, and then Grayson says, don't curse. Calm down, Grace. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not. That's the least of our problems that Kavuto's. But notice how upset Kavuto is. How could you say you're going to limit compensation for my friends? I love them so much. They're so rich, and we're rich together, and we've been stealing taxpayer money for so long. How could you set any cups behind a closed curtain? Why is it behind a closed curtain? Treasury Secretary comes out and goes, all right, here's the new l l limit. It, w that's what we do in the executive branch. We execute the laws. They pass the law. Now I, uh, it's my job to figure out what the right level is. Let's say it's 250000 Let's say it's 500000 And it's Tim Geithner, man. Everybody on Wall Street is his best friend. Okay? You think Tim Geithner is going to set the limit too low? <laughs> Just calm down, Neil. All your buddy's money's going to be fine. Later, Grayson, after the interview, said uh, to Huffington Post, quote, a stuck pig squeals loudly. Okay? And that's exactly what Kabuto looked like there. But I wish Grayson had said it during the interview. 
And he went on to say, I'm going after some of the biggest crooks in the country, and they're fighting back through people like Neil Cavuto. And that's exactly what you're watching here. All right, let's go forward. Trust me? Are you nuts? Listen, Neil, we have a real problem here. The real problem is people are taking taxpayer money and they're looting it, putting it in their own pockets and destroying the economy in the process. This bill stops that. If you're in favor of seeing that continue, a no, lot no, of people no, disagree Congress with you. Saying, you're obfuscating here. I am asking you, I agree with you. There were people in power who took obscene bonuses and pay packages and they ran the company into the ground. But if this measure, if I'm reading it correctly, you're not even delineating or separating who those people are. You're just saying everybody at this institution is fair game for us to examine their pay packages. When I ask you at a level that you would deem excessive, you're not even playing along. You're not even giving me a range. You're saying that's up to Oz behind the curtain. No wonder Why American behind people the curtain? are fed up with this nonsense. No, Neil, that is not Alan Grayson's job. That is Mr. Geithner's job. You He's are the giving him a blank part check of to decide what number to write on the check. And no, we're taking away the blank checks that people have written for themselves at AIG. Give me a number. And saying what that is has to, stop. to you? Give me a number. How can you have people I... vote on something you don't even know what the hell they're voting on? That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows what they're voting on here. They're voting to stop these ridiculous, excessive bonuses which you are defending. I'm not defending. I'm just told how would you. you stop I just them? told you that if, it, if, if a company is taken over by taxpayers ridiculous overpriced bonuses for the very people who brought the company to this point they shouldn't be getting them and you're free at that point since they got taxpayer dollars if you want go fire them what i am saying though is that when you include in mass everybody at that company what's to stop you from just willy-nilly going after any company you damn well please because they didn't take tarp money contemplating that why don't you ask that question to tim geidner do you think he's going to say a secretary can make more than, no more than $5,000 a year? I don't know. That's because I, You know what? I, this you know what, is you know, a paranoid fantasy. I will ask him because you don't answer a simple question. We have entrusted in you oversight to make sure these abuses don't happen. Your answer to those abuses is, I'm going to police excessive pay. When I ask you what excessive pay is and how you would define it, you didn't even give me a range. I'm I not told the one you that if we set a number, you are the one insulting Americans who have better stock in thinking that their leaders can do a better job. You're humiliating them, oh. not the crooks you say are running the companies. That's All right, absurd. pause again. We're passing a little bit. Stop. All right, so get a load of this. And Cavuto's like, you know how there's anger in the population about the bankers getting all this money? Cavuto's angry, right? So you feel like, oh, he's on your side, right? But he's not. He's directing the anger towards the people trying to stop the executive excessive compensation from the people who took taxpayer money. These guys aren't going to go to Walmart or somewhere else and be like, all right, well, I'm now capping all of your pay. No, they didn't take, take taxpayer money. That's not part of the legislation at all. So Cavuto's all worked up like, how can you stop the bonuses and the executive compensation? Isn't that what people are angry about? He's misdirecting the anger completely. And part of this, by the way, is the Glenn Beckification of Fox. Yeah, Fox was crazy enough already, right? But now they're taking it to a new level with the antics and the crazy, you know, and the insulting behavior and the weirdly offensive stuff. And they think, well, I don't know, it's getting Glenn Beck ratings and nobody seems to be, you know, protesting. So why don't we try it in all our shows and, you know, ratchet it up a little bit? We're almost done here. Let's finish it up now. From happening, you're and creating you this parade of horribles that will never happen. All right. I just told you what would happen. But the bad know, thing the is that and 160 if the million gives me a range, If the treasury gives me a range, God bless him. Because I've asked you every which way I know to give me a range. Either you couldn't or wouldn't or felt that you shouldn't. We pay you, Congressman. Act like it. Oh. Neil, I'm not the one using profanity on the air. I'm not the one interrupting the guest to, to show incredible rudeness on the air. I'm no, simply you know the one what, trying Congressman? to answer your questions you know what I'm rude? and make no, America I'll tell you what I'm a better place. When I, I'll tell you what I'm rude to guess. When they don't answer a question, all taxpayers have oh, a right to Oh, when they attack know. my CEO that buddies. is when I'm rude. Well, you're being very rude. So be it. Well, yeah, you know, God damn, I wish Grayson was tougher on him, man. God, he took it. And I saw Grayson during the committee hearings, man. He was like a lion. He was ripping the guy that was running uh, the, the VP at the Fed. And I wish that Grayson had showed up there. But I think next time 
that we're going to get a different Grayson, I hope, because he was way too soft on Cavuto, sitting there yelling at him like that, man. Hey, Cavuto, you try that on me, see how it turns out for you. Okay. Oof, oof, oof.